Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to rig swordfish bait and we're doing a series for Swordfish 101 to help you get started with sword fishing and get the fish of a lifetime. So to get started guys, you're going to need a few things before you can rig your own bait. You're going to need a good set of crimpers. You're going to need to get yourself some rigging floss. You're going to need a good pair of scissors. You're going to need a rigging needle. You're going to need an ice pick, skirts, whatever color skirts of your choice you would like. You're going to need to get yourself some hooks. So we've got some 10-0 and 11-0 hooks right here. We use both. Um, we like to use the 11-0s when it's a little bit slower current on the jug rod. Uh, but we've got 10 and 11-0 hooks here. You're going to need your aluminum crimps to crimp down your connections and then you're going to need leader right and so we've already pre-cut uh, the leader uh, six feet we're using 300 pound lingram pitman clear leader and then the knife so you can make your little cuts in the bait so that's what you need to go ahead and get started now we're going to show you how to rig it <music> Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to rig an eel for swordfish bait. So the first thing that you got to do is you got to get your knife and you've got to make a cut on the bottom right here. We've pre-cut this one, just showing you there where it's going to be, but you want to lay your hook down and you've got to get this so it sits perfectly where the hook is going to come out of the body and it's not curved. And then you're going to take your hook and you're going to slide it in that incision, the eye of the hook. You're going to wiggle this thing all the way up until you get it in the mouth of your eel. Okay. And so what you've got is you've got the hook right in the mouth. Okay. We'll show you here. The eye of the hook is right in the mouth. And then you're going to take your ice pick. And you want to go through the bottom jaw. You want to go through the bottom jaw, through the eye of the hook, and over through the top of the head. The next thing that you're going to want to do is get your leader. We've pre-cut these already for the sake of time. They're six feet long, and you're going to want to stick your leader through the hole that you made with the ice pick right through the bottom and out the top of the head go ahead and slide your crimp through the leader now you've got your hook sitting in there perfectly and we're going to want to crimp this down and when you crimp this guys you got to crimp it in the middle we'll talk about this on another video that we've got in the series which is rigging best practices but if you take a look here how it's crimped in the middle the top of that has space and the line is not pinched together if you crimp it too close to both ends you're going to have a crease in your line and it's going to cut your leader and the last thing you want is to have tackle failure when you're fighting a fish on something that you could have prevented we're going to go ahead and cut the tag end off ones are getting slippery then go ahead and pick whatever skirt you that you have that you like uh, we're going to put a pink one on this one you have a lot of luck with pink Pink and dark colors seem to work well for us, but we've tried every color. I mean, we get everybody involved, the kids, everybody picks out the, uh, the colors that they like. And there's not really one color. We could say we've caught more fish on that one. We've caught on everything. I had a uh, red and white one one time, fished it all day, didn't catch a fish. The next day we went back out and told the customer, go ahead and pick out the, the bait that you like the most, whatever 
color looks the best for you. And she picked the red and white one. And I thought in my head, oh my God, I just fished this yesterday. I didn't even get a bite. And we got two fish with the same bait that day. So it doesn't, that doesn't seem to be a color preference for the swordfish. It's whatever color you like and you feel the best with. Once you've got your skirt on, guys, you got to go ahead and give this a nod. And get yourself your, your rigging floss because you don't want to leave this loose. You don't want the swordfish to whack this with their bill. And then the skirt slides up your leader. And then you've got the swordfish attacking your skirt and not your bait. And he's far away from where the hook is. That's it's never going to end well for you. So once you, you've got your needle, you want to go ahead and slide this through. You're going to go all the way through your skirt out the other side. Now we've got a closed eye needle. You can buy an open eye needle if you'd like. We prefer the closed one, even though you got to pull the thread out once you get the needle all the way through. But when you have an open eye needle, this is open here as you're sliding it through your bait. This gets caught and it keeps opening in. You're rigging a lot of baits. We just, uh, we prefer the closed one. It just goes through a little bit nicer. But you want to go ahead and finish this off with a knot here to keep it in place so that it's not moving around when you, uh, when the swordfish bites it or whacks it with their bill. They don't really bite. They, they swat at it with their bill to stun or kill their, their prey. And then they go ahead and they, they swallow it. So we went ahead and finished that. You want to go ahead and cut this. You can cut them pretty close. And there you go. You've got your perfectly rigged eel ready to go sword fishing. Guys, give it a go. Let me know how it works out for you guys. I'm sure you're going to love it. Thank you.